everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. I'm in a really fun mood because it's like late at night and I usually film midday, but I thought I would film this video because I really have to clean up this stuff and I've been leaving it out because I wanted to film a haul video. So I thought, you know what, I better just film it so I can clean it up. Now that is worth being in a fun mood over. Also, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. This isn't the same day. So today, as you guys can see by the title, I'm doing a little bit of a haul video. I feel like this is kind of old school YouTube to do just like a big haul. And in this case, a back to school haul because it's beginning to be back to school season. No, I didn't buy this stuff for back to school. I just bought it just cuz. But I know it is back to school and if I was going back to school this is probably the type of stuff I would be buying. So I thought it would be fun and kind of on on season. Is that the right wording? Now I'm gonna be completely honest. I actually don't do a lot of personal shopping. The only shopping I really do is for videos. Like, oh, I have to do a big haul from Romwe. Oh, I have to do a big haul from Zaffle and I wanna make videos about it. I don't do a lot of stuff where it's like, I actually personally want this item. So I thought it was kind of fun that I got a big group of stuff together that I have been buying. So yeah, I'm rambling on. Basically it's a haul video. I don't know why I'm trying to make it more than that, but it's all it is. I have no idea how to get rid of that black box. I don't know how. It'll just be there forever. I don't know how to fix it. And as you guys can see, this is a Tuesday video. Uh, my Tuesday videos are pretty chilled out, pretty relaxed. They're kind of the videos that I don't claim as my main videos of the week because I don't think they're worth being the main video of the week, but they're for the people who like watching my videos and don't think twice a week is enough. Here's your video. Okay, but to start this haul video off with a bang, I'm gonna talk about the shoes I'm actually wearing right now. They're really dirty, really gross. I don't know why I'm showing you them. Actually, I do know why. These are the Adidas slides. They're $40, they're pretty pricey for slides, but you guys, these are my life. Seriously, those slides are my life. They are so comfortable. I actually have back and knee problems, so when I stand on them, I wear them inside my house, outside my house. I'll literally just wear them in and out of the house and wipe them off because it feels like I'm standing on an anti-shock wrap, 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 shock resistant mat. I think that's what it's called where it's like that little foamy underneath. That's what it feels like all the time. It's so comfortable. If any of you guys have like problems where standing on hard floor hurts your back or hurts your knees, seriously suggest investing in these shoes. Obviously not sponsored by Adidas. I just feel like they've helped me personally so much that I wanna share that, but okay. <laughs> on the trend of shoes, I actually bought a pair of shoes and I actually really didn't need these shoes, but the reason I bought them was they were a buy one, get one 50% off, and my mom wanted to buy a pair, so I was like, okay, I'll find one. I do really like Vans, I like the way they look. They're not super comfortable shoes, they are considered like street shoes, but I personally think like the heel of them is pretty hard, so, but I mean. I can't believe I didn't do like a grand reveal. I bought yellow shoes. Here are the shoes I decided to pick up. They're just the basic Vans, not the uh, high top, the low top. Is that what they call them? I don't know, but they're like this pale yellow color. They got yellow laces. You can see they definitely have to be broken in. They feel super structured right now, but I have had Vans before and I've broken them in and they've been really great. So yeah, here those are, just so you guys can get a better idea for the color. They're like a yellowy green color. I think they'll be fun for the summer to have something a little different. And then I went into Tommy Hilfiger and I actually got one thing only and I actually wasn't even planning on getting one thing, but my mom, again, my mom, we went shopping together and she bought one of these and I was like picturing the outfit in my head. It was so difficult. I was like trying to see it. So I decided to just get one. It's really exciting. It's just a gray t-shirt and it's got the little Tommy Hilfiger emblem right here. I got this shirt. It's really comfy. I was thinking about like pairing it with jean shorts with a belt. I thought it would look kind of cool. Why am I talking about this shirt for so long? I'm excited about this shirt, but I understand it's kind of boring. Okay, and then I went into the drugstore and I just got two things. I got this Clinique foundation and it's ever Better Glow Light Reflecting Makeup. And I actually bought this because I thought it was the Acne Solutions one. It actually happens to be my favorite foundation of all time. I seriously think it has the best finish of any foundation ever. And this has the exact same packaging, so I thought it was this one. But now looking at it, it's Ever Better Glow, so it's a different type. So I'll have to try this out. Here's what it looks like out of the package. 
yeah, it's pretty exciting. And then I also got this deodorant. Now, I have never used deodorant spray before. I actually saw a commercial about this one for like so many times that it subliminally like made me want to buy it. And I always ask myself, I'm like, what's the point of commercials? Like commercials on TV, I just feel like have never stuck with me. And then I found myself in the drugstore buying up a bunch of stuff that I saw commercials on. So that's one of these. It's a dry spray, 48 hour protection, antiperspirant. And I got it in this cucumber smell. This smells so good. Let me just spray it in the air. It smells so good. I have yet to try it on my underarms. So we'll see. I don't know why I'm so excited about my deodorant. Now I hit up the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. If you guys follow Bath & Body Works, if you guys follow semi-annual sales, you'll know Bath & Body Works has a really big one. And me and my mom always go, always. Like I swear, I don't know how long it's been since I bought something full priced at Bath & Body Works because I'll just hold out until the sale. And it actually ended up being like $80 for everything. And on the receipt, it said I saved 220. So that's crazy. Love deals, love schmeals, love good spiels. I stocked up on shower gels. The smells that were available were so amazing. One of my favorite smells of all time is country apple. You can imagine, it smells like apples. <laughs> and this is actually the lowest shower gel in my shower right now, so I got a new one. And then I got Oahu Coconut Sunset, Wild Strawberry Leaf, and a Malibu Heat. So excited to have more shower gels. Seriously. And then I actually got two of these. They're the Amber and Argan Bath and Body Works. They're like a exfoliant. They do like kind of looking like a sugar scrub sort of thing. I got two of these ones in my shower. I used it to take off fake tan and it worked really well. Smells so good. Oh, it's a sugar scrub. Yeah, did I say that? And then I have never heard of these before in my life, but for some reason when I was there, I bought five. I have very dry skin and here living in Canada in the winter time and even in the summer, it's very dry. It's not really humid here a lot. Well, not really, like maybe sometimes it is, but rarely ever. Like when I go traveling to the States or to Hawaii, well, Hawaii is in the States, obviously geography but when i go to hawaii specifically my dry skin goes away because there's enough water and humidity in the air that it like feeds my skin what it needs so it's almost as if lotion doesn't moisturize enough so these are supposed to be a step above moisturizing what is on my nose there's something making my nose so itchy so they are these lightweight body oils so i got one in coco shea honey i got another one in mint leaf and bergamot i don't know how to say that i got one in rainbow and a one in amber and argan and that matches this and then this really cool one is this rose mousse to oil so how this works is you spray it out and it's a mousse see i only sprayed a little and then it turns to oil on your hands and it smells so good if you guys use any of these body oils from Bath and Body Works, let me know how you like them because I bought five, so I hope they're good. On the trend of sugar scrubs, I bought a lavender and sandalwood one and a mint leaf and bergamot. I don't know how to say that again. They're just these body scrubs. So excited. And then I bought these other shower gels, but they're shower jellies. Now I had heard about these from Lush. I had never seen them before at Bath and Body Works, so I had to buy all of them. So I got one in Coco Shea. It's got a different packaging, but it's jelly. A pink lily and bamboo, fresh sea salt, mango, Waikiki beach coconut. So how these look is they're literally like gel and they're supposed to act the same as shower gel and they smell so good. I swear, I like my shower is so full of stuff like this. If you guys, go to Bath & Body Works and really like it there and have like specific scents that are like your all-time favorites, please let me know down below because I definitely have favorites. One of them being French Baguette, which they discontinued, and I love Sweet Pea, so I'd like to hear what you guys like. And last but certainly not least, I went to Levi's. Now, I've actually never bought anything from the Levi's store. I've only ever bought ones that were like thrifted, like secondhand, and I just happened to find them. But I went in there and they were, they were having a good deal, so I picked up two things. I really splurged on a pair of shorts because 
I realized this su summer I outgrew all of my shorts. So I was like, okay, just get a pair you really like. So I got these mid-length short, mid-long, mid-rise, slim through the hip. Here is what they look like. As you guys can see, they're kind of longer. I like to roll them up a little bit, but I like that they're not like short shorts. I just feel like they're more comfortable. And they're super stretchy. This is actually, that's really all I went in there for, but they were having a sale that their pants were like 50% off. So I went ahead and bought the 501 jeans. These are super famous. And my mom actually used to wear these when she was younger. And I just thought it would be cool to have some. I've heard about them so many times and I've gotten thrifted ones. I just thought like splurge and get a pair. And they actually ended up being half of 74. They're dark wash. They fit me really great around the waist. I'm actually so, so happy to have these jeans. So yeah, that is everything I got for my back to school haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you like these types of videos and think it'd be fun for me to post kind of more laid back videos on Tuesdays, let me know down below because these are super easy to film and it's kind of like we're just hanging out, you know? So... <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more, make sure to click the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!